Hello everybody and welcome back to Expand the Gunja Filter and to the previous episode we played, well, I say episode, uh, podcast episode. We played with Never Named again and we did the all jammed mode and we had a bug that caused us to do sort of a glitched clone run. That bug has since been fixed but it was fun to mess around with it while we could. Uh, let's get into another wacky, weird and beautiful run with Frances here. Ooh. Poison Vile and also Table Tech Stealth. Not a bad start. Um, better damage, better boss damage, lower speed, better roll time, better roll distance, better spread, lower fire rate, lower reload time. Uh, higher reload time, should I say. Better clip. All in all, that's pretty good. The only thing that's bad about this really is our rate of fire and reload. Rate of fire and reload aren't great, but our stats and our starting items pretty good. Starting with a 1.2 to uh, boss damage is pretty Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. I think this is going to be a, a decent, a decent lineup. Uh, obviously, Poison Vile, you guys know, is kind of a piece of garbage. Uh, that I, I don't really get why it exists. Okay, we're having a, a room here with nothing in it. Um, and of course, as you can see here, we um, we only have two hearts, which isn't really a big issue. Uh, you may notice this room's new. Um. So, not only have I got Nevenin's pack on this time, I didn't have it on for the last episode, I don't believe, but there's been two new room packs released, both of which I have on. I think one only has like 10 rooms, but the other one has like 100. So, we're going to be seeing some new rooms there. I cannot remember the creator's name, but I'll uh, I'll make sure to try and add the uh, the mod pack to the, to the description if I remember to. And, um, yeah, so it seems like we're going to be having some more new room packs, which is awesome to see. It's always good to see... Uh, more room packs involved. So we've got to remember we have the ability here uh, to steal should we want to. Um, we might as well do this because we're going to earn some money off of it anyhow. We 20 there. I think this is only going to earn us five casings but we might as well. Uh, the stake launcher is actually a really really nice little weapon there. Uh, basically the way that that works is it does like absolutely insane damage to jammed enemies. So should we need to do that we shall. Um, it's pretty cheap as well, so I'm definitely on the side of taking that. And, I mean, we could just steal it. I really don't want to use my steal um, on Bellow's shop on a on a really cheap item, though, to be honest. Ah, Poison Vial. Why do you need to exist? Why, Poison Vial? You really don't need to exist, do you? But, yeah, we're going to be seeing some cool new rooms here. Ooh. Hello. Okay, we've got a new... Uh, a new um, chest room variant here. This one has a has a mirror available in it, which combined with the stake launcher might be worth opening. It is 3.5 curse for a blue chest though, so it's not exactly not exactly the best deal ever. But it's neither is it the worst. Okay, so we can stealth up and basically use our stealth to sneak up on some enemies. We always want to be flipping a tail before entering our next room. So it allows us to do things like this, where we can Basically set up and prep before entering a room as to what target we want to take out first. Seeing that there is a long there does does definitely make me want to go for that. Um, of course, we've been trying to go to the jungle and the belly more often than not, but I will skip them if um, if there is an item or some such that we want to get and we can't actually go to the jungle. It's exactly the same as the oubliette, really. You, you, you skip them if you need to. Um, so if, if, if it so happens that way, then we will. It is kind of... Ooh, I think someone's having a barbecue name. It's more smoky. Uh, but I, th I think um, I think we're going to be okay for keys as well, considering we don't need to open that chest. So we can open Lonk's room and our green chest, and maybe even that blue one for the curse as well. I would like to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I remember, this room's relatively difficult. This is actually one of the ones that I made, I believe. Just because it's difficult because of these two geezers. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I was hoping we could get rid of him before... Uh, Things got a bit too hairy there, but yeah, that's good. Grab our coin. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of money here. We are pretty good on the money front. So, always want to stay with these guys not looking towards the barrel. I'll try and stay up towards the top here for the most part. Okay, managed to dodge that guy. Okay, barrel is available should we need it. Um, let's have a little look-see because we've got, we're going to have a lot of money here because we have how much hearts saved up. We have a decent amount of hearts saved up. And we're going to get another one after killing the boss as well. So money isn't going to really be an issue, I don't think. Um, we're already at 100. 
And we can fill up there. So let's buy ourselves the key. Let's go fight our boss first before we decide what we want to do here. Because we could end up getting the the elusive two key drops. Of course, we have poison vial, which means we have to get the only boss on this floor that flies. Um, because why wouldn't we? We do have really good boss damage, remember, so even with the robot's left hand, which is still a pretty good weapon, we're going to be absolutely fine here. We do have lower than base speed that I didn't even mention, but honestly, I don't really think it needs mentioning. It's such a it's such a minor thing, this run. Uh, we It really isn't affecting us too badly at all. Um, of course, we're going to do our, our same old tactic. Try and pull him up towards the top-hand corner. Uh, that way, when he does this little power attack with the ball... He'll shoot a decent amount of it into the roof. It doesn't always work, but when it does, it's very nice. Um, as you can see there, I didn't quite manage to pull him away enough. Um, you really got to get him really close up towards the wall for it to it to work. And it's not always that easy to, to make it happen. There you go. We managed to get through the fight relatively easily there. Let's see what we end up getting. Keys, 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 keys. No keys. We did get a lot of money though. So it seems that this time round we probably won't end up going to the jungle. It just doesn't really seem worth it. Uh, I do love the jungle. It's 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 my child. Um, but at the same time, I'm willing to skip it should we need to. Especially considering we have so much armor here. Now, I can't remember what this armor does. We definitely have had it before. Let's go and have a little look-see, see if we can find out what that armor does. It's called the Frost Armor, I think. We should just be able to find it visually somewhere down here. Let's have a little look-see. Okay, we're getting into the modded items about now. So just watch out for that armor. It's definitely one of the later mods I installed. I see one piece of armor. That's not, that's not the right one. Um, haven't seen it yet. Surprisingly, God damn, we have so m we have so many, so many items to see, so many items to see. God damn, I don't actually see it. Um, I swear we have picked it up before, though. Okay, uh, I'll just take it. Do you know we've got enough money? Let's let's have a little look. So I know how the uh, the steak launch works. This produce uh, reduces item cooldown when hit. That's pretty decent. Uh, poison vial, of course, isn't really the best catalyst for that, but I think that's fine. How much curse did we start with? We started with lower than two. Uh, we started with two. That's going to put us up quite high in curse. Do you know what? Let's do it. We got the devolver. 5.5 curse off the bat. It's pretty high. It's pretty high. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty high. But I think we're okay. And there you go. That is a much, much, much better active item. Much, much, much better. Um, we'll probably just use this as a room clearer and then have this as a secondary. So I don't know if any of you have been watching Northern Lines series. I imagine a few of you will have been. Uh, he has actually had the stake launch for a few times. It's from Unstable Strafe, I believe. And it's really good against jammed enemies. Like, it does a whole hell of a lot more damage against jammed enemies. Uh, we might as well try this out. Yes. Oh, hello. Glitched elevator, you say? Glitched elevator, you say. Um, unexpected, but beautiful. So we just, we're, we're going down to the glitch floor. We've got a glitched beholster fight coming with 5.5 cares. This is probably going to result in a death. There's a good chance, a good, 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 good chance this results in a death. We do not have a lot of HP. We are really relying on a shop to, to help us out a lot here. Now, I do know that there was a bug with this glitch floor. I think in this build that I'm currently playing on, it has been fixed. But this is going to be fun. So it's, been a, it's been a little while since we've been down to this glitch floor. Um... Of course, I do believe it can pull from all the room pools. I'm not sure if it's just limited to one floor. I, I might be wrong there, though. Uh, he might have, might have changed that. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see, though. Um, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. This is going to be fun. It definitely can pull from all the loot pools, because that's a shot grub. This is going to be our main issue here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let my turret do a lot of this. we got a same manual there. Okay, we're going to have to kind of chill here. We're going to have to kind of chill here. Because this is going to be difficult. These guys are speedy. I mean, we might... 
We might be able to get away with devolving them. I mean, that could work. I mean, that worked there. Yeah, this is this is working relatively well, actually. This turret's really good as well. Portable turret got a big buff with their farewell to arms. It's a lot, lot better now. Okay, yeah, this is going to be pretty decent. Uh, devolve chance is pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. Uh, of course, we do get NPCs and random things spawning off of killing stuff on this floor. And as you saw, we got ourselves this. This guy could end up throwing the item into the wall just because of where he's situated. We'll see. Oh, no, he just gives it to us. Big Iron is beautiful. We'll, we'll stick with Big Iron, actually. Uh, Big Iron's really, really good. But we are going to have to have to be very, very wary. As I said, any room can show up here, meaning bullet hell rooms can show up here. Uh, we have a raccoon chasing us very closely. Uh, we have a beholster. We also have, surprisingly, uh, um, I, I don't know if you can see that, but the the little floor effect that you can see there is the one that you get for um, unlocking Paradox, which is interesting. Wasn't expecting that. We got another little cultist here. Can we can we grab it? Normally you can grab that. Okay, it's just appeared. We've also got a very small locked door. <laughs> this this is going to be bizarre. It's going to be really bizarre. Ah, there's a turtle melon. We are so going to die on this floor. There's a... It's and me. Oh, my God. That guy blew up into two key bulletkin. That's very good. So we'll remember that hearts there. In fact, there's no teleporters in any of these rooms. We don't want to save it, though. I'd rather be able to just go back into a room. Okay, there's a teleport on this room. That works out. I will open this up. Alien engine really isn't what we need right now. I mean, it's not bad, but it is just not what we need right now. I'm going to try and use the devolver a little more here. There's our boss. See if we can get a little thing going on with that. I wonder if it always spawns with a mini boss on this floor now. Because this has definitely changed since I last saw it. Or if it's just a chance. Super space turtle with his mega gun. Coming at me. Very hard to see where the actual walls are here. Not going to lie. But I'll throw it down there. Uh, it kind of bounces as you throw it. And it's kind of throwing itself behind a wall. Which isn't great. Oh, we got uh, we got the Mimic dude. The Mimic NPC. <laughs> it's funny. There is some really, really weird stuff you can get with like killing people with this. It's funny. I really love the design of this floor. I do think we'll die. Like, not gonna lie, I definitely think we'll die. Like, this is a really, really, really hard floor, so... Are you the buffer guy? You are. Okay, we're out of ammo on this thing already, which just goes to show why I'm not a huge fan of it. Wow, we're getting the cultist for, like, every kill. The bowing cultist, dude. There's another one there. Um... I, I don't think we take this for the Devolver. I think we take it for Big Iron. Big Iron is such a good weapon. I'm thankful that we've not seen many jammed enemies yet. I mean, I'll say that and there'll just be a ton in a moment. Okay. Finding out which one of these is the buffer guy. Very important. It's definitely him. Okay, that's a that's something with a, a shot grubs gun. That guy's also jammed. Oh, there's the rat's dead body there. Okay, that is that is so good. Why is this room spawning so many enemies? Wow. Oh my god, this is insane. This is insane. Luckily, we're able to charge up our items relatively quickly here. The fact that things can randomly have shot grub guns on this floor, pretty brutal. Not gonna lie, it's pretty... It's pretty brutal. Uh, coming up against three potential shot grubs that could have more health than a regular shot grub in one room is not my cup of tea. But it's sometimes what we got to deal with. Now, our bonus boss damage is really going to be the thing that helps out a lot on this floor. I really, really hope that we can do something with that. Wait a minute. We need to do this. Oh, really? I got hit by that? Are you kidding me? If you throw an empty gun and pick it back up, it counts as an item uh, picked up so we get proper weaponry from this floor. I'll take that. 
Um, can't believe I got hit there. That was such a bad hit to take as well. I need I need the steak launcher as my secondary. That's a mimic. Right, let's put this guy here. Okay, we got him killed. Ooh, we got the leg boot. <laughs> If I could remember what the leg boot does. Um, from a pe uh, peculiar and less graphically appealing alternate dimension where dodge rolling through um, bullets or into enemies restores ammo. In interesting. So if we, if we roll over bullets, we get those bullets back by the sounds of it, which is interesting. Um, right, for this boss, I think I'm just going to stick with the big iron. The big iron's really, really, really good. Um... We'll just try it out. So it does seem to be a very, a very normal boss fight, which is fine. Uh, I have my, I have my stake launcher ready for if he does a particular attack. Okay, it's, it seems interesting that our little turret can be jammed as well. Okay, that was beautiful. Really good damage there. Uh, we got ourselves a key and an extra chest as well, and the map, and we got some hearts too. Seems that we have like a bunch of chest rooms here. Okay, so. We have another key and a heart in here, so we'll, we'll open that up. Make sure we get the key. Heart, we can we can leave there for now. I'll definitely go and open this chest over here, because it's unlocked anyways. This is interesting, though. This floor design's strange. It's got another boss fight here, which is that, an, is that another mini boss? Oh, that's beautiful. That is, like, just what we're looking for. That is, like, precisely what we're looking for. Okay, it seems we have a few jammed enemies here, which scares me a lot. Okay, you see the steak launcher's power there? You see how quickly it killed that guy? Now, we've still got this dude to deal with here. Oh my god, so good. We, is there still more left? Oh, there's just a turtle no one chilling over here. Stop it, turtle melon. Get some help. And we also have a shop here, which is good. Possibly good. Uh, this one, I believe, just means that fire deals more damage. It's not that useful for us right now. I'm going to wait for our shop before that. I think we should go and check out what's going on in our shop before we do anything there. I don't know the range on the turret, so it might not be that good. Oh, wait. Now we're fighting a turret. Excuse me, lad. Excuse me. Okay, this is going this is going pretty well so far. These are the rooms that scare me where it's like a bunch of glitched enemies and you have no idea what any of them do. Oh my god. And you get hit by a tarnisher. I hate tarnishers. Everyone knows how much I hate tarnishers. Um That snake just ate the tarnisher. And we got the uh we got the cube. Let's use it. Buffed. Okay. So am I just going to have the, the sound of a tarnisher forever now? Oh my god, the old man just spawned. It sounds like I'm just going to have the sound of a tarnisher going on forever now. Or is it just like near that room? I was I was really thinking he was just gonna plop that in the uh, in the floor there for us, just drop it in the pit. I really can't tell if that tantrum sounds gonna go away or not. Rooms like this are nightmare fuel. Oh, that steak launch is so good. Ammo for that bad boy too. I absolutely love this. I wonder if that buffed thing is permanent or just like a temporary effect. I really don't know. One, two, three. Three shots to kill one of those guys. Absolutely beautiful as a utility weapon. And the actual shop contains knife shield, which is interesting. Probably not something I'm going to take. Because we already have enough curse, really, I would say. We also have 
another chest room with an item I I love but cannot take because it isn't because it has not been fixed yet. Uh, basically, it's the shoot the whoop I'm a fire my laser thing from um, from Isaac, but it has. It has no uh, sound um, gate on it right now. Like, it doesn't scale with um, with your game's volume. Meaning that it can be, like, because I have my volume on super low, but it's set to be super high and has no volume scaling. It's just really, really, really loud and, just, like, just burns in my ear holes. Really shouldn't have used my turret there, should I? Kind of a waste, not going to lie. Right. I'll probably go back to the shop over for the Goopton. Okay, this is going to be a hard room for us. It's going to be a real hard room for us because we have to deal with loads of different enemies and a bunch of these. Oh, my God. A bunch of these dudes as well. One of them's jammed by the looks of it, too. Is this room done yet? No. Wait, there's one of those in the middle? That's kind of rude. Okay, I think we're good now. That room's that room's tough. Yeah, look, there it is again. And there's a, a locked door. I really want to see if I can grab it. Oh, before you used to be able to grab it. I don't know if it... I think it just works as a shader. It's not an actual entity anymore. Please step away from me. The turret's so strong. It also blocks bullets as well, which is another pretty big use of it. Hey, another old man. This floor is so crazy. That that enemy spawned a barrel on death and immediately blew it up. Hey, old man, what you got for me now? Oh, the Rattler. Yeah, I'll take the Rattler. We'll use the Rattler for a bit. I am on board with this. Another chest room. That's pretty insanely useful for us. Now, I don't know what's going to go, go down here because this is a boss fight within a boss fight. Ah, it's just the same manual one. And here are our normal rooms that go through here and here. Right. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. We do not have a lot of health. We do not have a lot of health. Um, I think we just take this and we get on with our day. I, I, I'm pretty confident we'll die. I'm going to use Blasphemy for as long as I can. Yep, I instantly got hit. So Blasphemy's no longer useful at all. Um, so wait, we need that mixed with this. My god, the beam is the worst thing ever. Thank God they didn't coincide. Okay, our boss damage is absolutely killing it. I did not realize how strong we were. That 20% boss damage has, has made this very simple for us. Wow, I was, I was really expecting that was going to be incredibly hard for us. Well, this is now a run. Uh, although we got some really bad items. <laughs> Let's fight all the mimics. There's more. Don't worry, there's, there's literally stuff everywhere. We'll be fine. Dodge sit ring. Hey, it's you again. Okay, so. Lots of armor. Let's pick all of that up first. Just a bit of armor. Then we got the bow, which is synergizing with the sling, which is nice. We got this. We got this. We got these two, which are garbage. We got this. We got this. Oh my god, I curse. Baby. This is, uh, this is good. This is good. Right, we got a lot of synergies there as well. We got that one. This, this is such a good synergy. Uh, we got this synergy, which I don't know what this does. Du, 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 du. Sorry, dodge sit ring. Wow. So that was successful. Um, 
we got we let's have a look at what uh, what items we got here really so guns we didn't get anything really out of the ordinary we got mirror bullets scoring a direct hit on an enemy's bullet sends it right back to the owner that's great and table tech one which is really good um and we also got the citrine amulet okay all in all i think we got some good stuff there Honestly, we could have done a lot better, but we also could have done a lot worse. So I'm pretty happy with that. That is an insane second floor. Glitch floor, how I love you dearly. How I love you dearly. That is, uh, that is a pretty insane uh, insane way to start the day. Especially considering that glitch elevator I'd have never have found if I'd have just not blanked in that last room. Um, of course, that does put us through the floor to here. So... Let's try out... Let's try out this with the mirror bullets. Oh, okay, because it's three final shots by the looks of it. I don't know if that's the only thing it does. Oh, yeah, then... Okay, mirror bullets are insane. I I'm guessing they're like A or S tier, because I'm pretty sure it's one of Never Name's items. And yeah, they're, 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 they're pretty ridiculous. <laughs> with any fast firing gun, you just can't really... Oh my god, that's insane. You just can't really get hit. Getting hit is a thing of the past. Also, how good is the little pilot synergy? It's so amazing. So, how do these guanstones work, then? From what I've seen, you just get a little wooden guanstone for a limited amount of time. Interesting. Yeah, this is going to be ludicrous. This is going to be uh, quite the spicy run. Uh, yeah, we do definitely have some um, contenders for munching. I would say this can go in because we're never going to use that. Um, and also the bow because I, I really don't care about the sling synergy. See what we get. Radgun. That was definitely a worthy trade. Uh, keep on with this. In fact, let, let's try this this guy out. I think this guy out. This guy out. This guy will be really, really good with... Uh, with the ability to knock back bullets. My good golly gosh. And the stake launcher. This is this is a mega run. This is a mega run. Maybe it should be like um it should be like the hippo bullets, whatever they're called, the hungry bullets. Where uh, it's only a chance to fire a mirror projectile. Having every single one. Is it? It might not even be every single one. It seems like it is, though. Certainly seems like it is. Maybe having every single one's a little bit OP. Oh, stake launcher, you beautiful bastard. What a wonderfully designed gun. Wonderfully designed. Oh, my God. I've been hit by... Also, everything got set on fire because of the citrine amulet. Put my turret down whenever. Whenever I get the chance. It charges so fast. Okay, we, need, we do need to be aware now, though. Our main thing is Curse is getting up there. Curse is certainly getting up there. We can't be taking anything too cursed. Or doing any curse actions, really. Oh, it was a mech anyways. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, you, like... Ah, oh, really? Turbo gun? Uh, it really seems like with... Um, with something that fires a lot of bullets, let's use the Rattler actually as a good example. You just, yeah, with something that fires a lot of bullets, with mirror bullets, you just can't be hit. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you just can't be hit ever. Table tech rage? I mean, we're on the table tech grind right now. We might as well take it. We have, we have three table techs already. We're benefiting pretty heavily. From, uh, from flipping tables, so we might as well go for it. I don't have the rat key. I was very tempted to buy it, but I thought, do you know what? This run's already got a bit of extra something-something to it. We don't need to be adding tons more. There you go. Rattler's so good. Rattler's always one of those guns that when people ask me, like, what's your favorite shotgun? I always forget about it. It's, it's definitely up there with one of my favorites, but I always, like, just sort of pass it off and don't really remember it. Yeah, because the thing is as well, we're not even just protecting ourselves by mirror bulleting, we're also damaging the enemy, which is just... It's so strong. 
Um, and I genuinely think it's better for us, more damage, for us to use a gun that fires a lot of shots like this than it is to actually use a decent weapon. Um, we'll, we'll take the stake launcher in case it's a jammed boss. Because it can be a jammed boss now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to shoot me? No, thank you. I mean, it works for our familiars too, like our uh, turret here. Don't step to me, boy. You can't hit me. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit too strong. <laughs> I like it. Not gonna lie, I like it. It's definitely a bit too strong. Macho Brace is kind of worthless. 30% extra damage on one shot isn't usually that useful. But I'll stick with it. Um, we might as well take a little look for a secret room. Just realized we haven't even explored everywhere yet. This could be something cool, like an NPC or something. Oh, no, it's just a really horrible room. This is probably one of the worst... I don't know if it's even nowhere it's designed, but just one of the worst rooms in Default Gungeon. It's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be. Also, there's a there's a D-tier item that we had on the stream that de-jams enemies' bullets. I feel like this is like a better version of that. I mean, it's definitely a better version because it's, it's a higher tier, but it kind of makes that obsolete because you're basically de-jamming them by just throwing them in the opposite direction. Um, yeah, we'll check for our secret rooms, actually. We've got plenty of blanks to spare. So we'll pop one off in here. We'll pop one off in the shop. Hey, there you go. Double junk. Junkin? Just to make this thing a bit more crazy. Make this run a little more crazy. How about that? We'll head on down. Oh, my God. This is sweet, sweet papaya. Quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. This is moochiosa, spiciosa run. Um, I'm going to use this bad boy. Do beam... If beam weapons mirror bullet, we... We're going to have to have a talk, because that's going to be insane. Oh, this thing, like, fires out... Ooh, this thing like, fires out, like, homing shots when we kill things now, because of the synergy. Okay, it does not. Good. That would be mental. <laughs> This synergy's cool, though. I don't think I've ever had this synergy, you know. Or at least I don't remember it. We go stealth and rage. Yeah, tables are like our best friend at the minute. We get a guan stone, we go stealth, and we get rage. Because we can just, like, do this, enter another room. Ready to, ready to deal some pain. We got funky bullets. That means we get bouncy bullets, which is amazing for us. Give me some of that rage. It seems... Wait. I need to test this. It seems that when our little dude fires missiles... Yeah. Okay, I, it's, it's going to be hard to test this because I need to leave, like, one enemy alive and not shoot it. Yep, our our beam can stop our own our own pro dude's projectile. Oh, this is interesting. Ah, oh, that's a that's a cool little room. I like that. Um, seems like we with our own beam we can knock away at our own guy's projectiles, which is strange. It's definitely not intentional. So our missile guy, while we're using beam weapons, is effectively useless. We're not going to be using this weapon for that long anyways, because it will run out of ammo very, very quickly. You might have noticed that I've picked up two ammo drops while using this throughout this floor, and we're still almost out of ammo. We're still, like, lower than half. It, it, it shreds through ammo pretty quickly. But it also sings a beautiful song. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Oh my god. 
I love it. This synergy is so good. The synergy is so, so good. Okay, we need to be careful here because we are we, we do have like bouncy bullets and like on death effects. Can you get away from the chest, sir? Thank you. Hey, that's nice. I'll take that. I think we're about done with this thing. Yeah. I kind of want to just use the commander. <gasps> Hello, sir. Hello there. Um, we could definitely get Shelaton Key. It does give two curse, I think. But I don't give a damn. Buy one key. Yeah, there's a chance we get another key here. We'll see. If not, there's other stuff we can buy. I didn't even see what the third item in there was. I just blanked it from my mind. This is a lot of missiles. Also, we could just... I've not really been using this, but we could be rolling over bullets to gain ammo. We should be doing that. Because let's, let's, let's take a look. This will be Warmonger. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I managed to destroy all the shots there. Oh yeah, we're getting two ammo for that. This is this is this could be really, really good. I mean I'm kinda just shredding these guys, so. There's two shots back now. These these guys are shredding it. These guys are absolutely killing it. And there's our key. So if we did want the Shelaton key, we could take it. But is it really worth it at this point? We've only got two other chests like left. No, I'll have some ammo back, please, sir. Thank you. Feed me. Feed me. Nope. Just die. Oh, my God. Another table tech. What table tech is it this time? Table tech speed. This is going to be kind of crazy. And we've got our cell creep over here. Right, let's go and have a little look at uh, what, what our key guy is offering here, because... Book of Mimic Anatomy. Interesting. We'll take that. Do you know what? I'll take that as well. Interesting. Book of Mimic Anatomy, not Book of Chest Anatomy. And it's funny, because it's a mimic of the uh, chest. I think I know what this one does, but I'm going to check. This book, while bound and covered identically to the Book of Chest Anatomy, is in fact much more interesting um, term on the anatomy of the creature known as the Mimic. It appears to be a sequel to the Book of Chest Anatomy from the same author, which is good because that one left off on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Interesting. So, I think if I remember correctly, killing Mimics yields more items. So, that's why I took the Ring of Chest Friendship because we could get more chest spawns and they could spawn as Mimics. So we'll see how that ends up going. But I'm hope I'm hopeful that we get at least one Mimic this floor. Okay, we'll, we won't use that gun because that's not really working out. Nice. Plop our turret down no matter what. Okay, we always need to have our stake launcher ready as secondary because it's just too good not to. Too good not to. Ow. We need tables is what we need. I think I think the the one caveat about mirror bullets is it does destroy the shot that you fire. Let's let's test that theory. Yeah, it destroys the shot that you fire. So with slow firing guns, it's pretty balanced. But with fast firing guns, it's pretty OP. Oh, how I do love this run. Oh, how I do love it dearly. Okay, that's really good. Because we can flip a table and get into another room. We go over here. Flip a table. Get our rage. Run over. Kill everything. Come back. Flip a table. Get our rage. Run over. Whoa. I don't know what happened there, but it was insane. Woo! 
Speedy boosties. Everything dead? Ow! I did not see that coming, not gonna lie. Wow, that was insane. Okay, and we got a key. Which is good, because if I chest isn't, maybe we can use that. But being able to, like, speed up through rooms like this... Kind of incredible. Ah, I tell you what. I cannot not get hit by those hands. That's really annoying, because... Uh, I, th I thought we are going to have to do this room again. This room sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It's, it's a cool design for a room. It sucks to play through, because it takes a really long time. I think I stole my damn ammo. Um... Of course, neither of these are mimics. Oh, and we picked the wrong one, obviously. Heck. No bullets at me. No thank you. Don't fire your bullets at me, sirs. Yeah, this is a really interesting table build. We have, like, so many cool table techs going on right now. We have the glass smeller, which is interesting. Uh, we'll buy a key straight off the bat and just go and open this up. The fat line, I can, I can, get, I can get down with a fat line. Uh, we've got my beauty, the mahogany, although I don't think we have anything that synergizes with it, which makes it nowhere near as good. What's our damage at now, by the way? Our actual damage is at 1.36. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, a chest. Ah, oh, okay. I was going to check if that was a mimic. But apparently I have too much damage to do that with this gun. Of course, I immediately get hit there. Okay, so this gun is really not good with the mirror bullets, because the bullets come from behind, it doesn't really help at all. Which is kind of obvious, thinking about it, but apparently I was too dumb to nurse. I am absolutely loving the way that we can just absolutely decimate anything with speed, anger, and invisibility. It's kind of my favorite thing right now. Okay, let's, um... Do we want to fill that up? Do we want to fill this up? Or do we want to fill this up? I think we want to fill this up. This is probably our, our most useful fill. I've been enjoying this, uh, this item a lot. We need to make sure, always make sure I got our stake launcher as our secondary. Ow. Losing armor pretty quick. Oh my god, I love how many there's that fires. It's insane. But yeah, it makes carrying the buff into another room super, super easy. Like, normally it's quite difficult to carry the anger buff between rooms. Or it can be, at least. I don't think that's a mimic either. I'm sad. Give me more mimics, please. Damn it. I want mimics. This, oh my god, I just realised. The uh, the Book of Mimic Anatomy plus the, um, plus the, oh hello. Well, that's terrible for us. That could be good though. Um, it could be so good with a Mimic Tooth Necklace. Like, insanely good with a Mimic Tooth Necklace. If it, if it does what I'm thinking it does, which I'm pretty sure it does, just give you more drops from Mimics, that could be insane. Oh my god, the amount of little diamonds it fires everywhere. I'm actually just going to keep filling this thing up. It's so powerful right now. It is our star player. Wow, how did that not kill you, dude? I was really excited to kill you. Oh, I have to cross this. I hate it when you have to cross this. I remember doing that room while trying to get the robot's head across. Not good. Fueled by anger and speed.
God damn it, give me a mimic. Where's, some, where's all these mimics I was promised? I might as well destroy these. See if I can at least get... Um, see if I can at least get Junker on our side. Nope. Right, now now for this little tactic I'm going for here. I come through here, have to go across this little horrible thing again. But then, I come into this room and I go flip, flip, flip. And then I go flip, 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 flip. Look at all these guan stones I have for the fight. I don't know how long they'll last in the fight, but they will help. Have it back. I don't want it. How many of these can you have up? Can you, can you, my God. Seems like you can have um, as many up as you can get up, but seems that seems to normally be three. If I just stand in the line of fire of a turret, it li I literally can't be hit. Because they actually, the turret itself blocks bullets, but also the, tur the turret is knocking bullets back. So, pretty effective. Pretty effective. Right, so if I just, if I just do this. Carve the way for me. Carve the way for me. You should do it right. Yes, one cycle. One cycle, right. You gotta give me at least one or two mimics. At least one or two mimics during this, uh, during bullet hell. You've just got to. You've just got to. Right, pick that up. Lots of money. We might as well spend it, because what else are we doing with it? So we'll refill this bad boy, get a bit of armor, and buy the mahogany. Just on the off chance we had the synergy, and sadly we don't. This could be pretty good, though. Mahogany's always one of my favorite weapons, so... Of course, that little dude here is having the rave of his life. Absolutely going for it, moving back and forward across our screen. I'm not really sure why, but he's loving it. Um, I do have a Discord message because I am recording, and so someone has to at me in my Discord. Um... Right, let's, uh, I, I, I think the mahogany could be good, but I'm going to go with something that's like more spread shot. Oh, wait, we have, we have God tier. Oh, wait, do we not? Um, chamber gun. Interesting. We can't switch over to the, uh, we can't switch over to the next version of chamber gun for some reason. It's as far as it'll let us go. Which is certainly odd. Certainly odd. I'm not sure what's causing that. That's a bit strange. Um, no worries. Let's stick with this and carry on. Debt hell. It's debt hell. Who did that? Honestly, which one of you jerks has did that? That is terrible. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> That's not good. Someone want to admit that little, little joke that you did there? It's terrible. <laughs> Don't do that. Please remove that room. <laughs> I suppose it's one less combat room, but that's effectively a guaranteed hit because you always walk through hallways without... Worrying about combat or worrying about dodge rolling over pits because that's the way the game teaches you how to play. I think that's a bad idea, personally. Bad idea. I do not like it. Hey, mutants. 
Right, get all our tables going. What is it with these rooms? I mean, it's less room for me to fight through, I guess. But I don't like it. <laughs> we got spice out of that. Oh yeah, because mimics drop things now. I guess I'll take some spice. We speeding away. I know I have my steak launcher, but it's actually just easier to use this thing right now rather than swapping between in the heat of the heat of combat. When it's a big enemy, I'll swap. But when it's just like regular old enemies that are jammed, it's just quicker to just kill them normally. If it was one of these guys, I might be able to get this shotgun, dude. Oh, damn. I just realized that thing where you get ammo for rolling over bullets. Imagine how strong that would be with like... Something ridiculous like the um, the makeshift cannon. Be insane. Like that enemy, I will definitely be stake launching. I'm invincible. Got him. And I will go all the way around and clear extra rooms here. Because for one, it's easy. And for two, I want mimics. And I know there's a few rooms that spawn with mimics. But I also know that we have the ring of chest friendship, which can give us mimics. So... I want to be trying to proc that as much as I can. Although it just seems to be completely ignoring itself right now. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sad that that many enemies just walked into me and dealt damage. But I'm also more sad that it broke all of those chests. Which could have been beautiful fleeting protection. Okay, you just fell into a pit. Are you a mimic? You bastard. You're just a normal chest. And you have spice in you. Okay, we're at curse nine now. Let's not let's not get too spicy. Let's not get too spicy. I don't want Lord of the Jammed in this business. Um, this is too many. Whoa, this is way too many. Far too many spent, excuse me. Right. Bullied them guys into submission. Take, give me the ammo for that bad boy. Give me the fleeting protection. How on earth did I not get hit there? The, the, okay, this this room is just too much. How are you? Never named. What is this? I feel like so many of the bullet hell rooms are just ridiculous. Like, this without this craziness that I have going on right now would be so difficult. I love this room, though. This room has to be one of his best designed, I think. It's such a cool idea. Oh, my God. 
There's a, there's a gun fairy somewhere. I did get hit by a jammed shot there somehow. I don't think I have any hearts stored up, but I do have a heart in here that I can go and get. At least. At least there's that. Where to now? Everyone knows this room. What the hell? I was stealthed and he still shot. God damn you, evil fiend. And there's a key. Really looking for the, um... Really looking for the mimics at the moment, but... Apparently we don't get the opportunity. Did he actually fall then? I didn't even know Tanish just could fall. Good, good, good. More spice. I can't take more spice. I'm sorry, game. I'm on nine curse already. What do you take me for? That's a lot of jammed enemies, game. Luckily, I have the uh, the solution to jammed enemies. My sweet baby steak launcher. Which I keep accidentally using against non-jammed enemies. Okay, we're making our way through. Slowly but surely, making our way through. I knew there was mimics in this room because I could just, I don't know, I could just feel it. Of course, it gave us more spice because why wouldn't it? These three chests, none of which were mimics. Good, good, good. Yeah. We got one shot left and that's no point using that up. Uh, let's start off with a, a high... One, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll go with six. Six isn't exactly super high, but... Okay, we're out of that. I just want to set up a bunch of these so I can just stand behind them and say, very, very safe. Apparently explosions move them. Didn't know that, but interesting to find out. Set them all up there. As a buffer. This one's going to be a lot harder to do that with because, of course, the um, the bullets can come in from different angles than just the front. So that's not going to quite work as well. But I don't know. I think we can make it work. I think with, a, with enough turret power. Turret power. We can make it work. So we'll try that out. I'm going to put a turret right here. Got to remember the turrets themselves actually block bullets too. So I can just like stand, I think if I stand here, I'm quite literally invincible. I can't shoot, but I'm quite literally invincible. Yeah, apparently when you're inside a turret, you can't shoot, which is strange, but I guess that's the way it's got to be. And we are ready for the final phase. I wonder if I can somehow place it exactly where he lands, like when he does that movement one. Like that. Oh, really? <laughs> Okay, it kind of seems to have worked. I mean, he died, but worked reasonably well. Don't even try me, dude. This is such an insane run. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Right, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was another... Amazing run. Some cool items in there. Definitely some overpowered ones. My god. Um, very much enjoyed it. Thanks to the glitch floor for being uh, numero uno that run. Imagine if I had the book of uh, Mimic Anatomy on that floor. Oh my god. There were so many mimics there. That would have been amazing. Would have been amazing. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Another beautiful, beautiful run of Enter the Gungeon. Always. 
just a lovely town. Just an absolutely lovely town. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.